Hey guys, no zoom for you here, and today I've got a preview of the HMS Hood. Now, when I went out and visited Wargaming out in California, I knew in advance that this ship was coming. So I had to keep this as a dirty little secret for several months, and I knew that when word finally got out that this ship was coming, a lot of people would be excited. And I know that the HMS Hood, for those in Great Britain, probably holds a place in the annals of history, much in the way that ships like the USS Arizona hold their own place in the United States of America. So I'm very, very pleased that the ship has finally made it out, because I know a lot of people across the world, not just in Great Britain, are going to be very, very excited about this ship. So, first thing about the HMS Hood. When you look at her, she is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is a stunning ship. She is a beauty. Now, some people might not like the fact that the premium camouflage on her kind of looks a little plain. But honestly, I very much like that. I, I like that clean look. It, it's just elegant. It gives her a very, very elegant look. Just an absolutely beautiful ship. Now, that's all great, you know, a ship that's beautiful is wonderful and all, but how does it play? How is this Tier 7 battleship going to fit in? So, first thing about her is she is fast. 32 knots fast, and that, that's great. I love fast battleships, especially when they can hang with cruisers at Tier 5, 6, and 7. So, that's, that's a very good thing about the HMS Hood. She's got some definite giddy-up. Handling's not that bad as well, so I, I, I think she's got it going in the speed and handling department. Now you might notice she is a very long ship, very much like the Sharn Horse and the Gneisen Owl, so she is a wide, wide target, which isn't necessarily a good thing for her, especially when she is a tinderbox. It feels like she catches fire easily. It's a bad thing, so you might want to take fire prevention. Just a little hint, hint right there. If you do wind up purchasing her, you're probably going to want fire prevention. She's got decent secondary range, and for her tier, for tier 7, her guns aren't bad. I mean, in many ways, the hood is like a bigger war spite. If you're familiar with the war spite, if you've played the war spite, if you enjoy the war spite, moving up and into the hood is not going to be that different. Much of the very good features of the War Spite have been retained in the hood. Unfortunately, a lot of the bad features of the War Spite have also carried over into the hood. Now, what do I mean by that? What do you think of when you think of the War Spite? What do you think of the worst attribute of the War Spite? Yes, it's guns. It's guns turn piggishly, absolutely sluggish. The guns on the hood are very miserable to turn. So once again, like the War Spite, you're not necessarily turning the guns, you're turning your ship to get the guns on target. And that is a huge problem with a Tier 7 battleship. The guns themselves, they're not that bad. They handle decently enough, they're fairly accurate, you can get rounds on your target. So there, there's nothing wrong with the way the guns actually fire. It's just getting them there, getting to the point to that you can fire them at the target. It can be a little daunting if you're going up against something that's faster and you're in the middle of a turn. And even if you're turning, your guns are going to have trouble keeping up with the ship that you're aiming at. Also, the guns are somewhat weak against some heavier hitters. You're going to have trouble with other battleships. You're, you're not going to get those citadels that you're hoping for against other battleships. When you get up tiered, it's going to be even more apparent. You're going to have serious issues when you get up tiered in this ship. And that's another kind of negative about the hood. The hood does fairly well in its own tier. If you're fighting tier 5s, 6s, and 7s, the hood's going to be very comfortable. You're, you're going to play very decent in her. However, when you get up tiered, that's when it's guns. That's when it's lack of gun turning. That's when the other issues, such as the armor on the hood, are going to become very, very apparent. You're going to realize that this ship is not meant to be up to it, and you're going to have trouble surviving. Another thing about her guns, even though they are decent, they handle decent, despite turning sluggishly, the range on them is not that decent. She's outranged by most battleships at only 17.6 kilometers. 
that range hurts her as well. Now fortunately, when you can troll along at 32 knots, you can catch up to pretty much anything within tier 5, 6, and 7 that you're aiming at. So you can run down other cruisers. You can run down other battleships. She, she's... I'm not going to say that the hood is squishy, but she will definitely take some hard hits if you're not careful and show that very, very long broadside. Another thing you need to know about the hood, as it stands, her AA is not that good. Now, unique to battleships, she has defensive fire. That's actually pretty cool. Now, even with defensive fire, her AA just isn't that great. However, if you've got torpedo bombers inbound, you can at least disrupt their formation and the torpedo spreads are gonna fire wide. That's a cool touch and that's very nice because with your very quick speed and your decent turning, you'll probably be able to avoid most of them. So long as you're up against tier seven aircraft carriers. If you're going up against more formidable aircraft carriers and you get up tier to the max, you're probably gonna have a little more problems and your AA is pretty much gonna be useless. So again, the biggest issues with her though are her slow turning guns and her armor it's just kind of squishy. She'll, she'll take some serious damage, especially when up tiered. And that's the thing you got to keep in mind with the hood. Again, overall, I think she's a decent battleship in her own tier. Very, very comfortable. Players are going to be able to move right into her. Do I think she's the best battleship in her tier? No, definitely not. I mean, you've got some great battleships up at tier 7. Sharnhorst, Gneisen now. Those are probably my favorites. You've got the Nagato also, which is also a very good battleship. I'd say the Hood is probably better than the Colorado. Just because of the speed, Colorado is very slow. Although the Colorado can hit a lot harder than the Hood. So, the Hood is maybe in the middle of the pack. It's, it's just, it's not a standout battleship. But it's also not a bad battleship. So it's just kind of comfortable. I guess that's the best way I can explain the hood. She's comfortable. I mean, she's a beautiful battleship. She's got speed. Her guns aren't horrible, but she just doesn't have anything that makes her stand above the pack in any way, shape, or form. And that's just something you got to keep in mind with her. Personally, if it were me, the way I would make her better, I'd make her guns turn just a scotch faster, just a scotch faster, and I'd also have them reload faster. Maybe five seconds faster. Bring that damage per minute up just a little bit. I think with those two tweaks, she might be on her way to being something very, very formidable, even in the higher tiers. As she stands right now, eh, when you get up tiered, you're gonna have issues. And the other surprising thing about her is her range. I, I feel that her range is very short for historically, for historically what she could accomplish. I mean, she fired at the Bismarck over 20,000 yards away. I mean, that's, that's some good range right there, and it would have been nice to see that carry over. So, keep in mind that this is a work of progress, and I know a lot of you out there, this is probably a must-buy for you. So, when you do buy this ship, you're going to feel very comfortable in her. Again, she's a decent battleship. Might take a little while to grow on you, just, just getting used to her, but she is definitely a raider. You're going to be able to chase other ships down, which is a lot of fun. That speed is just really, really cool, but keep in mind that she is kind of a tinderbox, and that might just be kind of a placebo effect there. She might not catch fire any easier than other battleships, but I think the reason for that is she's just so much longer. So if ships are targeting you with HE, they've got a much bigger and a much wider base to catch and potentially light on fire. But overall, I, I've enjoyed her. I've enjoyed her. She's a very good historical ship. You know, we know the history about her. She detonated in her fight against the Bismarck, and the rest is pretty much history. I mean, she, in, in many ways, she is the Great Britain's version of the USS Arizona. Two ships cut down, unfortunately, with heavy loss of life, and they just never got to do what they could have done throughout World War II, so very unfortunate. Some very brave men on that ship, so. Again, the HMS Hood is imminent. I have given you my preview on her and my general thoughts, my general layman's thoughts on it, so. Look forward to this one, guys. It's a very historical ship, and it, it, she's a beaut. She's an absolute gorgeous looking ship. If you like the War Spite, if you felt comfortable in the War Spite, you're gonna like the HMS Hood. 
Anyhow, guys, I will be sure to update this when she comes out, especially if there's any major changes to her. And we'll just have to stand by, but we know it's coming soon. Take it easy. I am out.